I don't even know how much of this I should use, y'all. Let me just taste a little bit again. Ooh. Oh, yes. That's it, y'all. And be love sauce, y'all. Chicken and be love. Mmm, smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys, it's Steph, and I'm back with another video. Today, you guys, I am doing a B Love Smackalicious Chicken Pasta. You guys, I'm gonna be cooking this and eating it. So, as you guys can see, I have a lot of my ingredients here, and I'm ready. Y'all ready to cook? Then let's get into the video. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, what I have here, I have some linguine. I have some chicken that I already cooked, and this has been seasoned with lemon and Bee Love's sauce, the uh, seasoning pack. I have some butter, lemon, garlic, and onion. I'm going to make some spinach on the side. I have my cream, parmesan, salt, pepper. This is the Bee Love seasoning mix, you guys. I put it in here so I can sprinkle it easier, and I don't have to touch on it when I'm touching on raw stuff and everything. So that's that. And let's go. I'm going to start with uh, making my pasta sauce. First, I use a half a stick of butter, you guys. Let that melt down a little bit. Hope you guys can see this. And y'all got to make this video fast because I got less than an hour before we have to leave to go to an event later. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm at. I can't even see this, y'all. I should have put the table lower. But I'll lower it for the next part. Okay, next I'm going to... Go ahead and start adding in my half and half. If you want a thicker sauce, then I would suggest using heavy cream. This is, this is one pint. And I'm going to start with about half of it. Because I don't really want to make a whole lot of sauce, you guys. Really don't. I'm going to throw in, I actually was supposed to do this before, but it's fine. I'm rushing, y'all. I'm going to throw in some of my onions and my garlic. I don't know if people usually do this with their um, creamy sauces, but I like it, okay? You guys, I am really anticipating that this is going to be delicious. Shout out to everybody who requested that I do pasta. On my salmon, my beloved salmon uh, video, I asked you guys to tell me what I should try next. This one was the most popular request, the pasta, so I definitely said I have to try that. Plus, I have been wanting to do it to y'all. Um, and then somebody on that video told me to go check out a guy named Big Mac because he had done it. So, shout out to Big Mac. I did watch your video. It was really good. You guys, if you guys want to see somebody else who did a version of a beloved pasta, check him out. Since I was in a rush, you guys, I went ahead and made my chicken before the video to save a little bit of time. But like I said, I seasoned this with just lemon and Be Love seasoning. The seasoning mix, y'all. It looks really good. This is boneless, thin, boneless skinless thighs. Looks really I'm, You know what, I'm tempted. Let me try a piece, y'all. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, y'all, this seasoning pack is versatile as heck. That is delicious. Okay, next I'm gonna add some lemon to my sauce. I'm a tangy girl. Parmesan cheese. So if you guys are new here, this is six ounces. I think I just used maybe half. Maybe half, I don't know. Probably use about four ounces. Nice and creamy. I wish I would have my table right, because I can barely see this, y'all. But we're gonna we gonna get it together. Um if you guys are new here, we generally eat for a little while, we discuss the food, and then we have a topic later. Tasha is going to be joining me for my topic. She's gonna help me read my topic and probably talk about it too with me later on so you want to keep stir stirring it pretty constantly so your cheese doesn't clump up 
I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit because it's really starting to boil pretty good right now. Has anybody out there tried um, doing a pasta or anything else interesting with the Smackalicious seasoning mix? I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my Smackalicious seasoning, y'all. Let me go ahead and open up the big side. Ain't nobody got time to be playing games today. I don't even know how much of this I should use, y'all. I have no idea. I think I'm just going to keep tasting it and stop when I like it. <laughs> this seems like it's getting thicky thick, okay? All right, let's taste it a little bit, y'all. That's good. It's very good. I'm gonna add a little bit more just so I can make the flavor be really robust. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the cream to y'all because I see after this cooks for a while, it might be a little bit too thick. But what you can do is alternate between the cheese and the, um, the cream or the half and half to get it to the thickness that you want, basically. Right now, this is where we at. I don't like a real thick sauce, y'all. That's why I use half and half. I know a lot of people do, and they're probably going to be, yo, what? Yo, sauce is runny. Well, that's how I like it. If you want yours thick, then make yours with heavy cream, okay? And then you can also, like a lot of people use uh, cornstarch or even flour to thicken it up. If you want it even more thick, go for it. I'm going to make it the, my desired thickness, okay? Because I'm the one that's eating it. Okay, little poop. This is looking good. I might add a little bit more um, lemon. Let me just taste a little bit again. I'm the only one that's going to be eating this, y'all. So, yeah, I'm about to be dipping, double dipping and all that, okay? Ooh. Oh, yes. That's it, y'all. Also going to add in a little parsley, y'all, because I usually put parsley in my Alfredo. So, boom. There it is. All right, y'all, I'm going to throw my pasta in. Oh, shit. I just hit the microphone with the pasta, y'all. Ooh-wee. This is thick. A little bit more, a little bit more. Now, be careful, y'all. When y'all add y'all pasta, don't just throw the whole bowl of pasta in there, okay? Make sure you still have enough sauce don't overdo the pasta and then you have barely have any sauce on the noodles. All right, guys, I'm back. So I lowered my table, so we, we're doing much better now. I'm sure you guys like this view much better and I'm much more comfortable. So now I'm gonna make my spinach. This is gonna be very fast. I'm gonna throw my garlic and onion in there. Let that cook for a little bit. While that's doing what it do, let me show you guys the pasta. Here's the pasta and the chicken. I'm probably gonna slice the chicken up a little bit and mix it in there, but we're gonna wait for a little while. And then also, of course, I had to make some B-Love sauce, you guys, and have that here, because I'm probably gonna be drizzling that on something. Time to throw these, this baby spinach on here. Let it cook very, very fast and get to eating, okay? Now, spinach cooks super fast, y'all. You don't even want to walk away from your pan while you're trying to cook this. Coat it in the butter a little bit and then I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. Already almost done. Some people probably stop right here. Some people may cook it a little, maybe a lot longer. So I'm about to turn my burner on warm now. Yes, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Now at this point, everything is just on warm, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna put my chicken on here so it can warm up a little bit. And then we are gonna get to eat. 
Let me try out this. I know this spinach is going to be hot as heck, y'all. I'm so mad at how little spinach this is. Mmm. 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 Yes, that's good. That's delicious. All right, y'all. It's time to get it in. Let me just try some of the pasta before I add the chicken. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's mine. Mm. Put some of that. Oh, this is delicious. Mmm. Pour lemon on everything. Let me bring my sauce up here. So I can start dipping that. Chicken. And be love sauce, y'all. Chicken and be love. Mmm. Smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's some good stuff, y'all. Mmm. 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 Be love pasta volcano. Mm. This is bomb. <clears throat> mm. Wow. horrible with like getting the pasta on the fork <laughs> sorry <sighs> be love on top of be love on top of be love mm. Hope you guys are having a really amazing week so far this is going out on hump day so we almost to the weekend mm. y'all gotta try this this is really good i'm gonna promise y'all something i'm gonna promise y'all this when i try something even if I make it, I promise you. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay? Mm. I love it. <clears throat> now, I will say this. I have one of those crazy palettes. I love things that are different. I like new flavors i like to go places that combine flavors that i would have never thought to combine and then it just ends up working so like i'm very adventurous when it comes to eating okay not everybody is not everybody is she didn't came up took over the damn up on y'all And you need a napkin? Mm -hmm. Shh. Now do your job. All right, I'm about to do the topic. So my best friend of 10 plus years has been dating this girl for almost two years. They have no title, but act like they are in a relationship. Over the time, I hung out with the girl every time I was out with my best friend. So basically, her and her best friend always hang out with the girl her best friend is dating. Mm -hmm. Um. 
she says, shoot, I hung out with her on my own too. We're super close. I consider her one of my friends actually. And I have love for her as a friend. So my best friend talks to other females here and there. And of course I don't say anything because I personally don't care, but she got hoes. Okay. I don't tell the other girl anything at all, but I always side with my best friend. But recently my best friend has been talking to other girls in front of the girl she's been dating. And the girl always gets hurt and feels disrespected. I done seen this girl cry and everything over my best friend and I feel super bad. So now they recently stopped talking and I don't know what to do. The girl she's been dating is actually my friend in my eyes and she always wants to hang out. My best friend doesn't say anything but for some reason I always feel like I'm doing something wrong. What should I do? I feel like she's a part of my circle and I can't just cut her off because she's not with my best friend anymore, right? Did I get too attached? <laughs> and she's been knowing the girl for two years? She's been knowing her for two years. Okay. Okay. I don't think she's wrong, no. Not at all. I mean, it can be an awkward and very sticky situation when you're dealing with your friends and their exes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you might have to choose. Sometimes you might have to choose because the people gonna make you choose because they don't want to continue to be friends with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But she didn't say that. She didn't say anything. She didn't say that. Um, God, I, she didn't say that she hangs out with her best friend and the girl together. The no, girl she just wants to hang out. So right. if they not hanging out with the best friend, I don't see the problem. I don't see the problem either. I mean, I don't see a problem at all. It just can be awkward for the people. Yeah. So if they're able to handle it, then I think everything could be okay. Because like I've been in situations, I definitely am friends with people who I met through my exes. Like I have friends now who I've met through someone I had been with, but we're still friends. Right. And they're still friends with my ex too. Right. Hopefully I never have to run into my ex, but sometimes it may happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, everybody got to be mature, first of all. A lot of people... It's like when they break up with their ex, they want your family and friends to be done with them too. It's very common. Like, I know if something happened with us, mm -hmm. I would not want to stop hanging out with your family. Right. That's, it, would be, it would be strange. Right. We would just have to figure it out though. Yeah. We would have to figure it out because my family loves Tasha, y'all. Okay, so they, I don't even know what they'll do. They'll probably be mad. <laughs> <laughs> That might be bad if we broke up. Hey, but Stephanie, what you do? Your fault. But yeah, I feel like she's not wrong for hanging out with her. The girl, why not? Mm -hmm. Y'all friends. And your best friend be different if she, the girl was dogging her best friend. Exactly. But the best friend is actually doing all the stuff, so. Yeah. I think that when you introduce your partner to your friends and family, Y'all need to expect that there's going to be relationships built yep. amongst humans. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That they might not want to stop. Even though y'all break up. Yep. I think that shit is petty as hell. Like I have, I got a family member and you know who you are if you watch him. Who basically wanted us to stop being friends with somebody. Or not, it wasn't even that we were friends. She wanted us to never, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, yeah. She got mad because we basically liked and commented on, on the person's pictures. Like, we were supposed to defriend the person on Facebook because they weren't together anymore, basically. Right. The thing was, it wasn't even per the person's friend. No. He just would comment here and there. Mm -hmm. Or she would comment on our stuff or whatever the case is. But right. Oh, she was hot. She basically cussed us out. She was mad as hell. I think it's a part of growing and maturing, I, honestly. Absolutely. You know? So, I don't know. You, you're not wrong, girl. That's what I say. You're not wrong. Hopefully, you don't lose your best friend over this. But you might have to make a decision. If your friend starts feeling some kind of way, you know? I mean, would you, would you ask your best friend, like, let's say if you were having a party. Uh -huh. Would you ask your best friend, like, is it okay if I invite your ex? Um, <laughs> if... If my best friend was the one dogging the girl out, I would assume my best friend didn't like her too much. Mm -hmm. um, even if she did like her, you're a cheater, so you you know you ain't gonna be with the girl anyway. I mm -hmm. feel like people who cheat, like for instance, if I'm dating, like whoever I used to date, if I cheated on her, mm -hmm. I don't care if anybody hangs around her. I didn't must have not, I must not have liked her. Mm -hmm. Now, like any of my exes, 
Like right now, if somebody I was close to liked it, I wouldn't even care about them being around. Mm -hmm. Not that I want to hang out with them and be friends with them, but I wouldn't be mad if they were around because right. I don't have any fucking feelings for them exactly. or anything. So I don't really care. Yeah. I wouldn't care. And this, this situation might be a little bit like messy if the girl still has feelings for the friend, the ex, the best friend. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's just trying to be around to see what the girl doing, and then yeah. causing problems with her thing. So it, yeah. I don't know. It really could become something, yeah. but it might not. Yeah. You got to just play it by ear, I guess. I agree with that. So, good luck. If you guys have any advice for her, please leave it in the comments. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Make sure you set your post notifications to all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. And until next time, only good vibes. Peace.